Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Those of you that have followed me, I have talked about the earthquakes and the magma lava there in Hawaii. I told you how we have to watch Palahala, Hawaii, as uh, the earthquakes that get shallower in that location could be an indication of the magma flowing to Mauna Loa and its uh, eruption would be an indication of things that we need to watch. There was a magnitude 3.9 earthquake that would have been yesterday. 88 people reported feeling that earthquake. This earthquake was about 331 feet above sea level. Now I've told you how all earthquakes are measured at sea level. This magnitude 3.9 was felt all across the big island of Hawaii. Most of these recent earthquakes there at Palahala have been real shallow. 1.9, 0 0.8 kilometers. Um, 1.9 minus 0 0.6 kilometers. That means it's above sea level. Um, a 2.0, 0 0.4 kilometers. 1.9, 0 0.2 kilometers. The 3.9, which I just showed you. A 1.7. Now that was 5.5 .5 kilometers. Uh, what else we got for Palala? See how originally they were real deep. About 31.5 kilometers. And we'll go down. See this one was originally um, 32.6 kilometers. And that would be, so that would be um, a little deeper than 20 miles below sea level. Yeah, and all of a sudden they started getting shallower. I probably found a way. Now this one here is 31. There's probably a fissure. Um, it's finding its way to come up. Or it could be just ground deformation. Uh, let's see what we got more recently. Um, volcano, Hawaii. Now that's up by uh, Fissure 8 where it erupted, what, two years ago. 0 0.3 kilometers. Another one minus 1.1 kilometers. That means it's above sea level. Uh, 1.2 kilometers. Palahala. Yeah, I think we got magma on the move once again there in Hawaii. For some reason, the air quality there along the different islands. Yeah, um, Honolulu, they do have it. It's good. Not available, not available, not available. Um, let's see what happens when I click on Palahala. Today, data or data not available. Tomorrow, data not available. It says it is good. Yeah, but how good is good? Particles, part per million, 2.5. So I thought, well, let's look that up. 2.5 refers to atmospheric uh, particulate matter, PM that have a diameter of less than 2.5 micrometers, which is about 3% of the diameter of a human hair. And then it goes on to say that air pollution that is a concern for people's health, levels in the air as high as 2.5, are tiny particles in the air that reduce visibility and cause the air to appear hazy when levels are elevated. So it's probably like uh, radiation. They raise the level of what's healthy to breathe. That's just my thought. Particles less than 2.5 micrometers in diameter can penetrate deeply into the lung, irritate, and corrode the wall and consequently impair lung function. Can HEPA filters remove parts per million 2.5? And it says yes, it can. Go ahead and do a Google search. Um, parts, PM, uh, 2.5, and you'll get more information. USGS is reporting 184 earthquakes here on this map in the last seven days. This one here is a 3.1, 4.3 kilometers in depth, and it says one person did report feeling that. Well, it's such a mild jolt, probably not very many people. On EMSC for the 3.9, it said could respond only now. This was felt where we are. And um, they were 81 kilometers from where the earthquake occurred.
So that would be about 50 miles from where the earthquake occurred. Like I said, most people don't report what they felt. This is the only report on EMSC. Maybe they had to work or were busy doing other things, or maybe the site wasn't available to put a comment. I don't know. But I thought I'd give you there in Hawaii, because I do have followers from Hawaii. A uh, heads up about this and the depth of the earthquakes. Yeah, not a good sign when they're getting shallower. Deformed stations. This one's at Kilauea. Past two days, yeah. Um, another one for Kilauea. Let's see. I'd like to see some of the other areas. That's all they're showing on USGS. Yeah, are they watching the deformation there at Palahala? Um, yeah, I don't know. I would think they would be. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. If you felt any of these earthquakes, um, what did they feel like? Did you have damage? Um, what direction did it come from? Did you hear it? You know, all that information. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.